Hello guys, how you doing? This is JP Sarri once again. I'm coming to you with another review, and this time I had something that I consider a cool, a cool piece, a classic that will never, you know, get old. And this is one of the best representations of Hulk of all times, and one of the best representations of the art of Randy Bowen and the quality of Bowen designs. Uh, it's just, it's just amazing. This is the Incredible Hulk. Uh, but it, that was sculpted back in 2006. Uh, well, not sculpted, but came out for sale in 2006. So it's not a new piece and one that have caught the attention of so many collectors. It's a grail piece for those that have it. Uh, there's two versions, but this is the original. This is the regular version, not the gray version. That person, I'm not a fan of that color scheme. But this one is is the 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 the, the version that to me is the most half. Also, there's another. Uh, bronze cold cast version out there also it's less price pricey than this but to me this is the one and we're gonna go in detail well as you can see this is another um, regular version regular standard um, Bowen designs box um, with all the, the design and the background but uh, as always is very colorful with the pictures this is incredible hole very nice title there and as you can see the statue um, the picture of the statue very nice sculpted by Randy Bowen marble painted statues here on the side is the Incredible Hulk painted statue sculpted by Randy Bowen strict, strictly limited um, display ready it stands 15.5 inches tall uh, for the standard of Bowen designs it's a pretty good size and as you can see more information about Bowen designs and Marvel Entertainment Marvel.com and back in built it was um, this was first sale back in 2006 uh, same thing as you can see here, it actually says green version. That's they came out. That's the thing. On the top, there's the Incredible Hulk, and right here on the bottom, as you can see, mine. This box is old, so uh, actually you cannot see the numbers anymore. But mine is uh, 2394, if I'm not mistaken, uh, of 2500. There's 2500 worldwide uh, pieces of this. Uh, so it's um, right now by the standards of today is rare, and not too many people. You cannot find them in many stores unless somebody has traded in some of those uh, comic stores where you can go and trade some some of these pieces. But mostly you're going to find them on eBay, on the aftermarket, or people on the forums that will sell them to you. Now, for all the good reasons to love love this piece, uh, to love Bowen designs, is the fact that you know the quality of what you get from them is just fantastic. You really see every time you see a, a Bowen designs piece. Um, what you see it's, 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 a, it's like a glimpse of the past of the things that I already have seen over the years and when I see any Bowen piece any any Randy Bowen statue or any Bowen designs uh, uh, statue is that the quality is fantastic but not just the quality uh, the representation is just there it's what I you, you know what you expect what you're really looking for in any piece. Uh, when I look at this statue, all I see really, the first reaction at this Smackdown version, that's the nickname that we have given him, is that I see Sal Buscema art style here. Um, there's no other. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the Savage Hulk, uh, the new version, that yeah, it looks like that, but this is closer to the Savage Hulk that we know, whoever has grown uh, reading the old comics and know the old comics, this is Sal Buscema all the way. Um, really love everything that has to do with this piece as you can see right there the detail in the statue is fantastic look at that you can see his green gums very nice you can see the teeth the tongue they went the green in the back you can see it painted there the expression the eyes are very angry uh, as you can see his eyebrows his hair oh just fantastic you know the musculature even the nipples are, are sculpted you know fantastic additions to this the detail the detail, you know, like they say, the devil's in the detail. But honestly, the piece here has so much detail. Um, as you can see, the pants, the rib, 
this piece is very heavy. Uh, I'll show you that actually uh, we have seen over the years uh, uh, really our pieces are nice. It's good not to have that many heavy pieces sometimes because you know trying to transport them you know they can fail whatever you know they can you know that but sometimes light pieces also run the risk of falling off and breaking up easy because they're just shells. Uh, well this is not the case for this piece. This is a lot heavier than any other bigger piece that I have even sideshow pieces that I have. This is heavy. Even the base is heavy. Uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, you know the paint application here is, is amazing. You can see those pans and the rip on those pans. It's just it's just amazing. You can see right there everything, the musculature, the position. Uh, just just a killer piece. And look at that bag. And it's just it's just you know I'm, it's amazing. You know Randy did such an amazing job. Those big knuckles, those big hands, those big cannon, those arms. You know just. It is just fantastic, and yes, the, right now the lighting in my uh, here is not as great, so it, you might you might might look a little darker than what it is. But this is, has a very nice light green. Uh, it's a combination of greens, uh, you know. Even on the hair, you can see there's some highlights of green on the, on top of the black. Uh, um, just a killer piece. It's just a killer piece. You know, there's really not too, you know, too many words to describe how good this is. I really love the base in this piece. Uh, it's just fascinating. I like the detail, and as you can see right there, even on the in the toenails, you know, just fantastic. That's part of the piece. But the base is separate, as you can, as you know, this piece comes in two separate things. It comes with the statue, and uh, in this case, the statue and the base. Both are heavy. The base is heavy. It's not really a big base, and this is rocky terrain. I think that is very fitting for the character. But it's well done. You know, the, the rocks are well done. Uh, the paint application is superb. Um, this piece sits in with a peg here, actually. This has a big peg goes in, and here it just sits in there. It seems a little shaky. Actually, you can kind of move it, but it gives a little room for flexibility so the piece doesn't fall off or whatever. So it's really well done. Honestly, this piece has no stability problems. Yes, it does like a little rocking thing because of that thing. But other than that, the piece is just sits well. And with that big weight that it has, it just, it just, it just good, you know. It just, it, this is the Randy Bowen at his best, and as you can see right there, and I don't know if you can see it from there, Randy sign, his R right there. It's in the in the back. It says the famous R uh, and, the, and the B, the Randy Bowen sign is all the way in the back. You might, you might not see it here, but other than that, you know, all you see here is just uh, good craftsmanship. You know, um, you know, this is as good as you can get you know this is there's no other way you can surpass this quality you know you can see this piece has all the elements I love the pose I love the action and the energy that he has I love the pans I love the ribs are so fantastic the sculpture it's magnificent the paint application uh, is perfect it's this is just the way it is. the base is just fitting the base is right um, this is just really uh, a fantastic killer killer piece uh, but now it's time for comparisons. Let's see how this piece really does in comparison with other pieces. All right, if you know me, you know that. Captain America is my, in this case, God of the Captain America is my trusted sidekick when it comes to about comparisons, when size comparisons. Perfect 1-6 scale. Um, now with Hulk, you can see he is big. Um, he is large. I like that. It is very retro, even though it's not the retro version, it still has the retro feeling, uh, the look, and it's just good. You know, as you can see, he purrs well. Uh, with Bowen design pieces, uh, most of the older ones, uh, it's just in a perfect size. And some of the Kotobukiya new stuff, well, some of the, the stuff that has this size. It's just a perfect piece, perfect matchup. I really like how they look together. And, you know, I love this Captain America, and we all always want to praise it. But here you can see um, the size comparison between both. Well, like I always said, if you have an action version piece, the best way to display it is with an action version, I, you know, and an action version pieces and this is the case definitely for this Hulk and as you can see this is my, my one of my favorite Thors and I think in my opinion my favorite Thor actually um, and they together 
they really represent the character well. As you can see right here, Thor, he, they look fantastic. It's just a matchup. It's a real good display setting. If you have this to display, you have a killer piece. Uh, fantastic. It's just phenomenal. Uh, I really like it. It's so vibrant. Both pieces have so much energy. And when you put them and compare them together and you pair them together in a versus battle, you really have a killer display that I don't think anybody else can say nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong about it. And there's nothing wrong with it. You know, there's really no fault in this. Uh, I really recommend this. This, If you have those two pieces, put them together. Uh, you know, when you move stuff around, you know, match them together. You're going to have a killer display. This is another terrific display for this piece here uh, versus the Destroyer. You know, what can I say? Bowen Designs really knows how to create this type of pieces and create a diorama with these pieces is just pretty much it's just it's just you know it's eye candy you know the, you know is the it's just amazing it's one of the great factors of Bowen Designs a lot of people are critical of Bowen Designs but this is why we love Bowen Designs because you can do this type of things um, this is not the only way you can display this you can display it and I see people displaying this Hulk with uh, versus the thing uh, the action version thing that came out uh, some years ago Uh, fantastic they look fantastic together I've seen people pairing this versus the uh, Silver Surfer one of the best ways to display this also if you have the retro uh, action version Wolverine or the Wendigo you know they, they, they match up perfectly The Juggernaut, um, the action version Juggernaut, fantastic. Then your left side again. Options, you know, there's so many options. There's so many ways to display this with an Avengers display, uh, Hulk versus the Avengers, uh, action version Avengers. Uh, it's just, you know, it is limitless, you know, what you can do with this piece. There's so much great stuff in this piece. Uh, but ultimately, if you really want to have a matchup that really plays well with this piece, I think, um, not just think, I know uh, if you have the, in this case, the Abomination. We'll anyway, that was actually created to be a companion piece to this piece. And actually, it's very affordable in the aftermarket. I think I've seen it for like $160, $150 in the aftermarket. People don't really pay too much attention to it, but it's so well made. I don't have it. Well, hopefully, I can. I can have it, so I can pair it with this. You know, I'm just not crazy about Abomination Air. I've never been crazy of him as a character, but other than that, I think um, you know they match up well. Um, so I think that's the options are there. You know, you can do a lot of crazy displays. You know, fantastic looking displays, and they look like a million bucks. Here you have some of the best Hulks ever created, in my opinion. Uh, I think I'm just missing Retro Hulk from Bowen Design. Um, yes, I like the PF, original PF. I'm not crazy about the new PFs are coming out or any other, even the Comic Cat. You know, it's not my type of thing. Uh, you know, it's not about the size. It's, to me, it's mostly about the representation. I love these pieces. As you can see right here, there is different versions. Um, to me, this is, the, you know, the SmackDown. Um, and it's just a representation of Sal Buscema style. It's just Sal Buscema all the way. Yes, this SmackDown might be a little shorter on this size scale nowadays with a lot of new pieces coming out. Everything has a little change. I think we oversized a little bit the one six scale. Or, you know, Bowen Designs was always like a one fifth. But now it's just have, you know, no, I'm sorry, one fifth, it was like a one seven or one eight. But now it's a little larger. The scales are a little larger than a lot of the newer pieces. And that's not a big deal. You know, I think you can always display pieces and you can match up. That's like I always say, this is the great thing about 1-6 scale that you can always match up little things. As you can see, these represent to me different styles, not just for the whoever sculpt these pieces. Um, uh, as you can, one of the great things about this um, the SmackDown version is it was uh, hand sculpted, while the other two are digital sculpts. And in this case, the version from Kotobukiya, uh, the newer, the classic Avenger, the, from the classic Avengers series that was digital sculpted by Eric Sosa. I think he is terrific hand sculptor, but he also is a good uh, and a great uh, digital sculptor that he's getting better and better on that on the other hand you have the the you know the version where you know this um, variant version uh, the Savage Hole variant 
uh, as you can see what's, what's called the bat you know by Kurama Lobby um, it just these are just fantastic pieces they represent different different eras to me this is South Osim actually John Byrne did a cover uh, I think to celebrate 15 or 20 years of the appearance of Wolverine where Hulk versus Wolverine and Wendigo uh, in, a, in, a, in that in a cover that was a spread that actually you can unfold and you have a bigger bigger cover and every time I see that cover I was reminded of this piece um, and as you can see this is a modern version the cut of Kia is a more, like a more modern version of Hulk while the, the body also represents and the paint application and even the face to me I had I get the hint of the cover the the, the defenders uh, you know defenders issue number one from Neil Adams every time I see that cover I always get reminded of this piece for some reason just the phrase expression some of that era uh, of the drawers they draw Hulk with this tone of green you know they paint it with this tone of green and this more facial expression you know and you know more angry looking you know it's just to me this is just a fantastic looking piece not easy to come by in the aftermarket you know sometimes you know you can find it for a good price if you can find it between sometimes people asking for 500 400 um, I've seen people even ask sell it for 300 If you ever find somebody to sell it for 300 go and get it because I don't think you're going to find it cheaper than that. So if you're a fan of the classic Hulk or you're a Hulk and an overall fan, this is a must have. The picture, the video will never really give uh, a full sense of this piece. It weighs more than the other two. It's heavier. You know, it's more massive. That even though a lot of people are going into digital, nowadays and is the is the future you can see that still the old style of sculpting still holds its ground and it still shows and showcases the ability uh, of the artist there's a lot of things that can be done that digital sculpting hasn't get to that point yet I'm not saying that it will not it will but when you can see a, a piece like this one that it has perfect uh, those teeth have perfect lines perfect muscles perfect symmetry you know the truth is that in life, real life nobody has perfect symmetry and this piece shows that, you know, yeah, it, it's muscular, it's big, it's bulky, but there's no symmetry, it's not a perfect symmetry. And for a lot of people that like, like old school sculpting, that's what it is. It really showcases the ability of an artist that is creating something with his hands and the art is in his hand and his mind and his vision. Uh, not saying that digital sculptors also have a vision, but also it's a lot easier to base on program, computer programs to define and to bring certain things and certain textures. Um, the make of the piece, you know, it's very nice because this is a nice piece and that's a nice piece and they're very lively. But this is more, to me, this has more passion, more power. And it's really hard to describe. Uh, other than that, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I really recommend this piece. Uh, if you ever get the chance to see it in person, I will recommend it. Get it if you get it. You will not be disappointed. This is a real nice piece that can match up with all different type of this place mainly action version so thank you for watching this video if you want to see more pictures of this uh, photos of this go to my photo bucket page you can also go to my Facebook uh, you can check my Instagram um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions leave your questions below and if you have any comments please leave your comments I always like to read them and I always reply to them so thank you very much for watching this video I'll see you on the next review have a good day good afternoon and good evening Thank you.